Hello everyone and welcome to a film series where I'll explore in detail different subjects relating to nature and forest schools. These videos will be approximately four minutes long, full of research, insight and videos I have filmed and edited myself. This first episode will be a review on an academic paper written in 2018 exploring the use of herbal medicines in the UK and how people feel about it. It was a questionnaire that was sent out to various locations like cancer support groups and universities for a year in 2015. Some of the questions they asked were things like what their attitudes were to the medicinal plants and whether or not they believed they worked, if they informed their doctor that they would use any, the reasons for using the plants, some health questions and a list of plants they might know. The study was confined to the UK and only had 157 responses, with the majority of the participants being married women in their 40s. They worked out how many responses they were going to need to do a generalisation of the whole UK. They would need 377 to 385 responses. This means that their data would not be applicable to the entire UK. They also talk about how over half of the NHS doctors that they spoke to said the use of medicinal plants would help reduce stress on the NHS waiting times and would be a good idea. However, 31% aren't really sure. Twenty-four percent said arthritis and joint pain, twenty-one percent said headaches, twenty-six percent said stomach and intestinal problems, and seventeen percent said sleep. When asked if they believed that the plants work, ninety-one percent said yes, making the majority in favour of using the plants. Fifty-three percent said that they get their knowledge of the plants from friends and colleagues, and another fifty percent said from books and the web. And eighty percent said that they use the plants for multiple health issues. The reasons I chose this article was to show that many of the young male population don't know a lot about herbal remedies or the medicinal properties of plants. It is my belief that it is important for the younger generation of the UK to understand what plants are beneficial for the body to help declog the NHS for silly matters that could be solved with a little trip to a herbal shop. Another thing is that the study doesn't cover all of the UK as the sample size is too small, meaning there could be a lot of people inside the demographic that I'm talking about that do know a lot about medicinal plants. However, there is no figure showing this, so we have to go off the numbers gathered and say most of my generation don't know about the benefits of medicinal plants. Thank you so much for watching my first video and I hope it was informative and I'll see you in the next one.